Now to a shootout involving police in Newark. It unfolded at an apartment building on Clinton Avenue. Police say they were responding to a call when a man suddenly started shooting. An officer returned fire shooting the suspect. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore is live in Newark with more. Crystal? Good afternoon, Shade. Well, police have identified the suspect as 30-year-old Hakeem Murchison of Newark. Now, sources tell us that officers were responding to the Ebon Square apartments for a domestic violence call before that gunfire erupted. Neighbors just shaken by what happened. It's a little traumatizing. Police, heavily armed, surrounded the entrance of the Ebon Square apartments in Newark, escorting residents out of the building. Having a little one, nobody want to have to deal with all this. Hours earlier, a shootout between a man and police on the third floor around 5 o'clock in the morning. Officers responding to a domestic dispute were in the process of arresting a 30-year-old man. Police say he resisted, opening fire twice, narrowly missing officers. An officer fired back, hitting the suspect. I didn't hear nothing. I was asleep. It's scary. And not just knowing I didn't hear anything, that's pretty scary. Building staff tasked with cleaning up the garbage and blood trail left behind. The suspect was taken to the hospital in stable condition. Authorities say two officers unharmed in the incident were also taken to the hospital to be examined. Longtime residents say this kind of police activity is unusual for this apartment building. I've lived here several years and I haven't seen anything like this. For this apartment complex it is, but not for Clinton Avenue, um, especially um, going from 10th Street on down. It's ordinary. This couple lives a few doors down from where police say someone made the initial 911 call this morning. Esther and her husband are not familiar with their neighbors. They also did not hear the gunshots. Sleeping just steps away from a firefight. The two are counting their blessings. Thank God we are not, we are not, we are not hurt on the each other. And Akeem Murchison is facing aggravated assault and weapons charges. Police are still investigating. Live in Newark, Crystal Cranmore, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Crystal. A number of developments.